Okay, so in college football, there has been a brawl between Tulsa and Mississippi State. So emotions kind of unraveled. And then after Mississippi State's 28 to 26 win over Tulsa, while they were doing the post-game handshakes, a huge brawl erupted. There was kicking, there was punching, there was a lot of shoving. And so it's kind of unclear right now what sparked the brawl, but um, Mississippi, but basically Mississippi State's head coach, Mike Leach, said that Tulsa players before the game kind of circled around the pregame warmups and were talking. But again, he would not speculate on what sparked this type of brawl or what could have sparked this brawl. Um, there, there is some bad news for this game. Tulsa safety, Kendarin Ray, he uh, was helped off the field. And then the Tulsa head coach, Philip Montgomery, said it was probably some version some version of a concussion. So this game was actually kind of scrappy too. So during the game, there were 18 total penalties. And I mean, that's kind of a lot for college. Like, I mean, like, I think like the one of the, I think the third least, the only reason why I know this is because of a Vikings game earlier this year, but the third least uh, referee crew in the NFL, they do 11. And there's a lot less uh, penalty calls in college than there is in the NFL by far. But um, I do have some statements by both coaches. I'm going to start with Mike Leach, the head coach of Mississippi State. So in his comments, he said, it's dumb. The, uh, the root of it, dumb, no matter what the root of it is, the root of the root of it's dumb and the continuation of it's dumb. That's basically what he said. He said, I would have that solidity and category of dumb now where now where the dumb started. I'm not extremely sure. So first of all, I just want to say, Mike Leach, you use dumb way too many times. And I'm going to be real with you. I can't read what you're saying. <laughs> He's trying to say the situation is dumb and what sparked it was dumb, but he doesn't know exactly what the dumb thing was that sparked it. That's basically what he's oh, saying. Yeah. As, for, as for Tulsa's head coach, Philip Montgomery, we got a more clear statement from him. He said, the one thing that I'll say is our program, our guys, we're a team that is going to stand up for each other and we're going to battle. We talk about faith, family, football, and family is going to take care of family. We're a team and has battled all year long. We battle again today, and from that standpoint, our guys are going to continue to protect each other and go from there. So, um, Nate, I'll start with you first. What do you think about this brawl between Tulsa and Mississippi State after the game? Um, well, first of all, before I say anything, if you guys want to go check this fight out, I'll leave a link to the video in the description down below for you guys to check out. Um, I don't know why we all fighting, man. I really don't. And this was at, this was at the end of the game, right? When they shook hands and all of that. This happened after I, the game when they were uh, and during the post game uh, handshakes. Come on, man. Come on. I mean, like y'all about a lot of y'all. I guarantee most of y'all are probably gonna go to the NFL at some point or another in your career, and and they're gonna look back at this and they're gonna be like, dude, come on, why are you fighting? Like a lot, like like. And not even that, it's just like the fight in general. I mean, if, if it's still unclear why it, why it started and like, why did it even happen to begin with? It's just a, ugh. Right. Like, as funny as we, as funny as a lot of people find these fights, and trust me, a lot of fights out there are pretty funny. You really think about it, yeah, they're funny, but they're stupid too. I mean, the guy, I mean, the guy was right for saying dumb, but he shouldn't have said it too much. But I mean, you know, what's the point? I don't get it. Right. And I'll say this, if nobody can figure out what really sparked the brawl, I will say this, maybe like the, the head coach said, Tulsa circling around, circling around their pregame warmups, that might've had something to do with it. And then you also got to remember there were 18 penalties in this game. Yeah. So basically if this was a very ch uh, chirpy, scrappy game that might've also had a factor into the brawls coming out. You know, two guys who had a problem during a couple plays or had some problems during these plays, you know, during, after the game, they go up to each other instead of handshake and they end up shoving and pushing and everything like that. Um, before I even continue, I do want to say that I hope the Tulsa safety can darn right. I hope that he didn't experience too much like, like bat worse injuries or anything terribly Absolutely. happened to him because he did have a concussion. I don't know how serious that is, but I'm wishing the best for him. But let me let me tell you this, man. I mean, I honestly do think it's kind of stupid. I really, really do. Is. Because not only are you putting your college in danger of any uh, type of punishments or consequences. You're putting yourself in danger in the process. But you are, it also makes your team look bad. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? These are, and I, and these, a lot of these college kids, a lot of these college football kids, they're good kids. They really are. Like, they're good, they're good people. It's just, it's tough to see, it's tough to see these people. Uh, 
a lot of situations escalate to that. Like me and you play football and we, and you know, we chirp at each other. We get into arguments, but at the end of the day, we're not going to end up swinging at each other. Yeah. Right. Cause like at the end of the day, it's just a game. There's something much more bigger than that. And I don't know exactly what sparked this brawl. I mean, maybe some more information will come out and if it does, we will end up informing you guys on it right now. The uh, what sparked this brawl it's it's unclear. So we don't have any answers for that. The only thing we can go by is the circling around the pregame warmups and the penalties kind of circulate around it. Right. I would assume so. With that being said, this is just honestly, this no this need is just for it. And not to mention, it, it really is. And as much as Mike Leach's statement kind of kind of was a little bit all over the place, I will no, say he has a point. Had kind of the same reaction as us. It's dumb. And then Philip Montgomery had a different reaction saying that we're going to stick by each other. We're going to stand up for each other. And I understand that completely, but like, I mean, to let your team, uh, to let your team and let the other team escalate to something this big, it's unnecessary. It absolutely is. And, um, I want to say the source for this was Kyle Bonagura. He's an EA staff writer. I just want to let, know, uh, I just want to let everybody know that real quick. So they know where to find this. Um, but with that, with that being said, I mean, Mississippi State, let's go with this. They did win 28 to 26, so congratulations to them on the win. And, I mean, but as for that, dude, this brawl was just unnecessary. Yeah, and I just want to follow up on what you said real quick. Uh, for you for you guys out here watching this video, just take this as a lesson. Not only did you guys get into a pointless fight, but you hurt a player too. This is why, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me say this on the show before uh, or on the channel probably in past videos, I don't like it when things resort into a fight because not only are you going to put your team in jeopardy, you're going to put yourself in jeopardy, but you're putting, you're hurting on the players too in, right. in, in ways that you probably don't even understand and probably in more obvious ways like this. You know, right. like it's unnecessary. Right, and another thing is I don't know exactly how this fight broke out. I really don't, but if this, if it came to a point where these guys were just chirping at each other and a fight escalated, I'm gonna be real. You're not gonna get your. You're not gonna get the respect that you would want when you first enter the NFL. Yeah, and it of course. Happens. I'm being real. You need to learn how to calm your emotions down, and then you get, because you hear a lot of players being expressed, and we call them divas, and call them like you know disruptive, and you don't want that type of image when you enter the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. When you enter the NFL, I hate to break it to you, whether you want to be or not, you're kind of a role model. Absolutely. And that's, that's not the NFL. It's not just the NBA, MLB, NHL, MLS, whatever else you want to call it, boxing, UFC, whatever it is. It's not just that. It's it's whether you hit any celebrity status in general, or even if you're not a celebrity and somebody else is looking up to you, whether that's a little brother or whether that's a son, daughter, a nephew, niece, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're, you're a role model. And you got to lead the right example for other people who look up to you. Everybody has a role model. You got one. I got one. And, and everybody in this whole world has someone that they look up to. So with that being said, you need to set a good example. And this right here is not a good example. I understand that, like, don't get me wrong. I'm full on. If somebody comes swinging at me and tries to put harm on me, I'm all about, like, me probably. I definitely swing back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But when it comes to starting a this fight, that's awesome. just a different story. This is just YouTube chirping and arguing and saying random BS. It's unnecessary. Absolutely. It really is. And this is, you're not going to get the respect you deserve You deserve at first in the NFL. Obviously, you can change your ways. You can change your habits. But if this is how you're going to treat every situation in the NFL, not only are you putting your team at risk, not only are you making a bad name for your teammates, because if it gets something to this big, then your teammates are going to get involved. But honestly, honestly, you're just going to have that picture of being a diva, being disruptive. And honest, it's going to be really tough to get that uh, image away from you. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. 100 percent agree. Um, and uh, again, you know, before I end this video to you, all you uh, college athletes out there or just any you know athletes in general that watch this or just anybody in general, really uh, just take this as a lesson. Don't don't fight. It just doesn't get you anywhere. 